one minute of air hunger, one minute's rest. The whole objective of this exercise is to improve the biochemistry of your breathing. So when we think of breathing, we need to think of it in terms of three dimensions. And when we're focusing on the breathing exercises, we're looking at improving the biochemistry, which is focused on carbon dioxide. So for example, with this exercise, we're breathing a little bit less air to allow carbon dioxide increase in the blood. The reason that carbon dioxide increases in the blood is because when you breathe less air, carbon dioxide cannot leave the body so quickly. So with that, with carbon dioxide increasing, you feel air hunger because of course, carbon dioxide is the primary stimulus to breathe. Not just that waste gas, carbon dioxide plays a role in helping to improve your blood circulation. Also plays a role in terms of oxygen release from the red blood cells to the tissues and organs, including the heart and brain. I'd like you to pay attention to your breathing and I would like you to gently soften and slow down the speed of the airflow as it comes in and out of your nose. So taking your attention out of your mind onto your breathing and just slowing down your breathing a little bit to the point that you feel air hunger. How is it done? It's fairly simple. Focus on the airflow coming in and out of your nose. Feel the slightly colder air coming into your nose and the slightly warmer air as it leaves your nose. And as you feel your breathing, gently slow down the speed of the air coming into your nose. Can you breathe in almost imperceptibly that you feel hardly any air coming into your nose? And at the top of the breath, a total feeling of relaxation and a relaxed and a slow and gentle exhalation. And then when you need to take the breath in again, you're taking a very soft and slow and gentle breath coming into your nose. Paying attention to the airflow coming into your nose feeling the slightly colder air as it enters the nostrils and gently softening and slowing down your breathing and then having a really relaxed and a slow exhalation. So now we will take a rest for about a minute or so. So now you're just breathing as normal again and take functional breathing patterns into every facet of your life, whether it's during rest or physical exercise and also of course during sleep. So when you go for a walk, for example, and you have your mouth closed, and ideally that you have your tongue resting in the roof of the mouth, you're breathing in and out through your nose, your jaws are relaxed. And as you go for your walk with your mouth closed, carbon dioxide is going to be produced because of course the increased metabolism. And with this, nasal breathing is going to help increase carbon dioxide in the blood because this, the nose is a smaller entry into the body than the mouth. And because breathing is going to be a little bit less with nasal breathing versus mouth breathing, you feel more of an air hunger. And of course, that air hunger is signifying that carbon dioxide is increasing in the blood during physical exercise. However, think of what it does. Think of your blood circulation. Think of your oxygen delivery. And again, focusing your attention on the airflow coming in and out of your nose and really slowing down the speed of the air as it enters your nostrils. And then at the top of the breath, a really relaxed and a slow and gentle exhalation. So almost allowing the air to leave the body effortlessly. And then when you feel the need to breathe in again, you're taking a very soft and gentle breath coming into your nose. So it's a very soft and gentle, almost imperceptible breath coming into your nose and a really relaxed and a slow and gentle exhalation. And continuing in this fashion, slowing down the speed of the inhalation, deliberately taking less air into the body, that your breathing is so slow that you take less air into the body so that you feel air hunger on the exhalation, allowing the air to leave the body effortlessly, almost like a balloon that was really slowly deflating. Now take a rest for about a minute or so. The easiest place to focus is on the airflow as it comes into the nose. Don't worry from the neck downwards. So, you know, you might feel the airflow, the nose or the throat or chest or tummy, just focus on the nose. I think it's the easiest place. And as you feel the airflow coming into your nose, gently soften the speed of the air coming into your nose, almost that your breathing is imperceptible. Then you are having a really relaxed and a slow and gentle exhalation. And because your breath is so much slower, you're taking less air into your body. And because you take less air into your body, you feel that air hunger. And air hunger signifies that carbon dioxide is increasing in the blood. Now take a rest for about a minute or so and just focusing on your breathing. And it can be very important as well to take your attention out of your mind and onto the breath and just feeling the airflow coming in and out of the body. 
not necessarily thinking about it but at the start you might notice that you you are thinking about it you know you're thinking there's my breath coming in there's my breath leaving but then over time by paying attention to your breathing you become one one with the breaths and i don't mean that as kind of new agey or anything like that all i mean is that you have a stillness or a quietness of the mind and when thoughts are becoming quieter you can now focus directly on the breath and merge with the breath that you're feeling a slightly colder air coming into your body and a slightly warmer air as it leaves your body and it's just feeling your breathing getting a sense if your breath is a little bit fast is it upper chest and just gently slowing it down and softening it for periods of time throughout the day and again pay attention slightly colder air coming into your nose and a slightly warmer air as it's leaving your nose and really focusing on taking less air into your body how do you do that slow down the speed of the breath coming in can you breathe in so smoothly almost as if you can hardly feel any air coming into your nostrils after you take a very soft and silent slow breath in through your nose then bring a total feeling of relaxation to the body and a relaxed and a gentle exhalation so the whole objective here is to breathe subtle so you can imagine the word subtle means you know that it's very very light almost imperceptible hardly noticeable so again on the breath in you have your full attention on the slightly colder air coming into your nose and you're slowing down the speed of the air coming into your nose and at the top of the breath total feeling of relaxation to your body and a relaxed and gentle exhalation take a minute one minute's rest again so with that exercise we are doing one minute of air hunger one minute's rest and do this according to how comfortable you feel about it air hunger can initiate a little bit of panic in some people and um, for most people it can be a little bit uncomfortable that's fine because we experience air hunger if you go for a fast walk if you go for a jog you experience air hunger if you're walking up a hill at speed you'll experience air hunger all we are doing during rest is gently breathing less air by slowing down the inhalation and having a really relaxed and slow exhalation that generates the feeling of air hunger and by gently exposing your body to the feeling of air hunger you desensitize your body's reaction to it and again paying attention to the airflow coming in and out of your nose and really softening and slowing down the speed of the breath coming into your nose and then having a really relaxed and a slow and gentle exhalation always good to bring your attention back to the area just inside your nostrils slowing down the speed of the air coming into your nose and allowing the airflow to leave the body effortlessly the objective is to breathe about 30 percent less air into your body but don't do it by holding the breath or by tensing your breathing or by deliberately interfering with your breathing just keep it very very simple bring your attention just inside the nostrils so the inside of the nose is very sensitive to airflow and as you feel the airflow coming in and out of your nose gently slow down the speed of the air as it enters and as it leaves your nose quiet breathing calm breathing imperceptible breathing <laughs>